Welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. Welcome back and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Budget Beauty. We do everything beauty on a budget and that includes new makeup releases. Are they cute? Are they ugly? Do we want them? Do we not want them? Are we going to purchase or are we going to pass? I missed a week of new makeup releases so we're going to play a little bit of catch up. This may be a little bit longer video but we're going to talk all about mainstream and indie new makeup releases. I'll let you know what I plan on purchasing what I plan on passing on. So if you're excited, give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do a new makeup releases every single week, with the exception of this last week. And I do upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. So subscribe, ring your bell so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below where I will link everything I share with you today. Any discount codes, links that I can find, all of that will be down in the description box as well as well as my favorite subscription boxes, all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you would like to recreate this look. And don't forget, come on over, follow me on TikTok for more beauty on a budget. I'm going to scoochie scoochie over and we're gonna talk all about new makeup releases. So the first new makeup release that I wanna talk about is this brand new collection from e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is their Cookies and Cream collection. It's inspired by the rich hues and deliciousness of cookies and cream ice cream. It includes an eyeshadow palette with mattes, shimmers, and metallic shades for $9, cookie crumble lip exfoliator and cookies and cream scent for $5, several lip glosses for $4, several no budge eyeshadows for $5, the milkshake overnight mask for $9, just the cream putty primer for $9, and the cute little single scoop sponge for $5, and a brush set for $9. So this is available as of January 19th on their website, and I'm assuming this will come to some local stores as well, but you can generally get a pretty good deal on the e.l.f. website. I think this collection is adorable. I love the sponge, and I think the eyeshadow is really pretty. I love that combo of blue blues and browns. So this is definitely something that I'm interested in picking up. Also from KVD and another addition to her Good Apple line, I'm actually wearing her Good Apple foundation today. I love that foundation. She just released the Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. Now I love trying out new concealers because I'm in my mid 40s, I have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles. I like to see what I can get that doesn't settle into those fine lines and wrinkles. And this says instant full coverage for all skin types, extreme long wear and lightweight, hydrated skin like finish, apple extract and raspberry stem cells nourish. Unique applicator mimics fingertip for precision. I really like that applicator a lot. Interlace pigments create smooth crease resistant coverage. 32 shades, which is great, $28 each. It's available February 1st on Sephora and on the Good Apple website. I'm definitely picking one up. I'll definitely let you guys know my thoughts, but it looks and sounds incredible. There is a new addition to the YSL Black Opium perfume line. Now, I love the Black Opium perfume. I've really gotten into perfumes lately. You guys know I've been loving Dossier. So this is a signature, a signature accord of black coffee. Interesting. Twisted with luscious, juicy green mandarin and creamy fig. A radical and illicit neon green lights add up, lights up the inside of the scandalous twist on the iconic Black Opium bottle. The design reflects a bold stance on pleasure and excitement. So the small little 0.33 ounce, which is probably what I'm going to pick up is $30. The one ounce is 78 and the 2.5 is 115. And for fragrance family, it says warm and spicy. The scent type is warm and sweet gourmand and the keynotes are green mandarin fig and coffee. It's available as of January 25th. I'm definitely buying the 0.33 ounce for $30 to try it. And if I love it, I'll be picking up the full size. I think the bottle is fantastic. Another day, another ColourPop. I'm sure this will not be our only ColourPop release, but they have released the Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powders for $14. Light and buildable to medium coverage, 18 skin perfecting shades, developed and perfected for 42 plus skin tones. Includes a pressed powder puff and it has skin loving ingredients like sunflower seed and cucumber fruit extract. Interesting. And then they have some little quads and their quads are really good quality. They have the On the Mango, 
the acai, the feeling coconutty, and the strawberry sweet for $10 each. The press powder blushes in two shades are also $10 each. These are available now on the ColourPop website. The little orange quad intrigues me and I'll probably end up picking up one of the blushes as well when I place my next ColourPop order. I love Lawless the Filler Lip Plumping gloss. I have so many of those and it looks like they just released some new shades. Three new shades. George, which is a warm honey nude. Annie is a peachy golden nude with a pearl finish and Glazed is a pale pinky beige with a pearl finish. It says ultra shiny gloss with immediate and long-term softening, hydrating, and visibly plumping benefits. They're $25 a piece. They work really well. It's my favorite plumping gloss. My eye immediately goes to Glaze, which is that one pink, beige with a pearl finish. It's beautiful. These are available January 28th on Sephora's website. Definitely picking one up. And we're back, of course, with another ColourPop release. This is their Glow Getter collection, their So Fly collection, and their Wanna Be collection. Each of these includes an eyeshadow palette, a highlighter, and a Super Shock Shadow Duo. These are available now on the ColourPop website. You can use the code TRENDMOOD for 10% off. I'm going to pass on all of these only because I have these shades time and time again in my collection. I don't gravitate towards the Super Shock Shadows a lot. I'm not much of a single shadow user. So I'm going to pass on the collection, but I think the palettes are beautiful and the color stories are really nice. So Estee Lauder has a new release. Now it's been a minute since Estee Lauder's released anything that I've heard about. This is their Bronze Goddess 2022 collection. They have the Bronze Goddess, the Summer Look palette for $80. Wow. Eyeshadow palette with nine shades and matte and satin finishes. Definitely passing on that for the price and just not a color story I would gravitate towards. They also have the Bronze Goddess Healthy Glow Bronzer for $45 with blush, bronzer, and highlighter in one. Now that intrigues me. It looks like they have a couple of different shade ranges of the bronzer. They have the Bronze Goddess All Over Face and Body Gloss Liquid Highlighter for $32. Probably passing on that. And then they have their Bronze Goddess Perfume for $80. And it says top notes of bergamot essence, pepper, and lang lang. Middle notes of salted coconut. Ooh, interesting. Jasmine sandbag, night blooming orchard, and then base notes of dark tonka, cashmere woods, and ambro. Now I'm interested in the highlighter, blush, bronzer, and the perfume. I definitely want to smell the perfume first, but the notes sound really good. And it's nice to see Estee Lauder come out with some new products. Charlotte Tilbury has added to her Eyes to Mesmerize collection. She's released some long-lasting cream matte shadows. Easy to build, blend and wear, swipe, smoke, and line, $34 a piece. That's really expensive for a single shadow, but it comes in five colors, diffused black, chocolate veil, smoky taupe, Flawless Beige and Nude Cashmere. They're available now, I'm for sure passing. Like I mentioned, I'm not a big single shadow user and $34 for one shadow is just not something that I would want to spend. Dior has released a new palette. This is the new Miss Dior Makeup Palette. It is inspired by the iconic style and elegant femininity of the Miss Dior fragrance. It's $145. It includes three eyeshadows, one blush, a lipstick and a top coat nail polish. $145. Coming soon, I'm passing. L'Oreal has a new release to their Age Perfect line. This is the 4-in-1 Tinted Face Balm Foundation. It has a skincare inspired formula, firms over time, smooths lines, conceals, imperfections, even tones. It's anti-aging, light to medium coverage. It's infused with the firming serum. It comes in eight shades for $11.99. Definitely interested in checking this out. I always like to have anti-aging products in my life and L'Oreal's an affordable drugstore brand. I'm, I'm intrigued with this. Let me know if you guys would like to see a review. Okay, this is pretty fun. Lush Cosmetics has released their Valentine's Day collection. They have the I Can Resist Everything But Temptation Shower Gel, and it ranges from $10.95 to $36.95. They have the Bath Bomb Big Eggplant. <laughs> Wow. If you know, you know. For $14.95, it's in a citrusy floral scent. They have the Bath Bomb Love Bug for $6.95, which is citrusy sweet. The Bath Bomb Mr. Laba Laba for $5.45, which is a sweet smell. Shower Jelly Strawberry Heart for $7.95. Soap New Rose Soothe and Hydrate Skin in Floral. 
the Bubble Bar Kim the Carrot for $8.95, and a lip mask and scrub hot lips for $3.95 that tastes like sweet cherries. I think this is adorable. If you love Lush products, if you want a great Valentine's Day gift for yourself or someone else, I find it funny and comical. It's pretty adorable. A new fragrance from KKW. They've really been coming out with a lot of new fragrances. Three scents created in collaboration with Floral Artisan packaged in artfully designed bottles. For years, Jeff has been designing florals for the Kardashian Jenner family. So this is in collaboration with Jeff Lethem. I'm not sure who that is, but the perfumes are $40 a piece or you can buy the bundle for $110, which is not bad. The packaging is beautiful. It, there's Iconic Gardenia, Caramel, Orchid, and Rare Fig. These are available as of January 26th on the KKW website. I'm intrigued. I love perfume, as I mentioned, and I think the packaging is very unique, very modern, and very aesthetically pleasing. So the Hemp's Body Care line has released some new products. I haven't seen anything new from them for a while either. This is just in time for February, the month of love. This is the Body Language Collection, a collection that smells heavenly like wild orchid and sweet orange. Formulated with 100% pure natural hemp seed oil and shea, shea butter to hydrate and nourish your skin. So there's a Mist for $8.99, the Love Set, which is three mini herbal body moisturizers for $17.95, the For the Love of Bubbles for $9.99, Hydration for Love for $14.99, and Lip Love for $14.99. All the products are paraben-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, 100% vegan, and made in the USA. This is available now. I think the packaging is adorable, and Hemp's has really good products. So Essence, another really affordable drugstore brand, has released their new collection called Catching clouds. It includes a hydrating milky face mist, swirl lip balm, mix and match pearl stickers, inner eye brightening pen, cloud touch highlighter, cloud touch primer, cloud touch body luminizer. This is coming soon on their website and retailers. It's already available in Europe. I'm going to pass on the whole collection. I like Essence. These are just products that don't really speak to me. So Profusion, another very affordable, high quality drugstore brand, has released the Desert Sage Collection. I have to say that the packaging on this whole collection is gorgeous. I love the sponge in the little cactus holder. It's so cute. The blending sponge is $4.95. The eyeshadow palette is $12.98. I think the eyeshadow palette is pretty color wise, but there's so much wasted space and those pans are so small. I think the outside packaging is pretty. They could have just went with round or square pans on the inside and it would have been something I would have been more gravitated towards picking up. So I'm passing for sure on the palette. The brush and bake set is only $9.98 and they have some lashes. This is available now. I love the brushes. I love the lashes, the sponge. I just am disappointed in the inside of the eyeshadow palette. She Glam, which is the makeup brand of Shein. I have an entire full face of She Glam. I love their makeup. Super affordable, has released their Celebrating the Month of Love, the Modern Love Collection. They have some new lip to cheek blush, which I love these. These are fantastic quality. They're only $5 a piece. You can apply them on your lips or cheeks with long lasting color. They have Call Me, which is Coral, Kiss Me, which is Desert Rose, Hug Me, which is Soft Pink. I'm probably picking up all three. They have the Shake Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set for $8. It has one matte shade that you can use as a primer one pearlized finish and one glittery waterproof sweatproof formula. Super cute. They have the Heart Catcher 2-in-1 Stamp Eyeliner for $3.50. One side is a heart stamp and the other is a liner. I think that's so cute. They have the Hide and Seek Lip Care Cream for $4. The full collection set for $30.50. I think this collection is adorable. I'm definitely picking some up. I love She Glam. If you haven't tried She Glam, Definitely try them. They're affordable and their quality is top notch. Now my favorite cream contour is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick and they released some special a limited edition packaging for the Lunar New Year. This is a contour stick in long wear lightweight matte formula in amber, which is a cool undertone for fair skin for $28. This is not a new shade. I use this as my contour. It's the contour I have on today. The red packaging is pretty. I'm not going to pick this up because I have just the regular packaging, but if you want a good cream contour, this one is excellent. And speaking of Fenty Beauty, this is a really exciting announcement. Fenty Beauty is making its way to Ulta. It says coming soon, we'll update you and confirm with more information. 
I love shopping at Ulta way more than Sephora and you'll be able to get Ulta points for your Fenty Beauty purchases now. Nomad Cosmetics, one of my favorite indie brands. They have such great eyeshadow formula. They have officially released their Nomad Lodge palette add to cart. I'm buying this. This palette is stunning. This is inspired by the snow lodges of Whistler and its incredible mountainous landscape. This color story is all about asper is all about ski chic. A wintry mix of glacial greens and frosty blues paired with cozy neutrals and snow globe sparkles. Seven mattes, six shimmers, and two duo chromes for only $39. It's available now. I'm going to buy this the minute this video is over. Makeup Revolution has a new release as well. This is their new brightening collection. It includes the ultimate brightening routine. There is a bright light highlighter for $10. There's a Banana Brighten Loose Baking Powder for eight, a Bright Under Eye Corrector for eight, and a Bright Under Eye Concealer for $10. Vegan, cruelty-free, affordable. I'm not the biggest fan of Makeup Revolution, so I'm going to pass, but if you're interested, you can purchase this on their website. Use the cone Treadmood for 20% off. Urban Decay has announced a new eyeshadow palette called the Wild Greens Collection. You guys know I love green eyeshadow. Urban Decay for me is hit and miss, but it says the Wild Green Eyeshadow Palette is $44. It has 12 nature-inspired earthy neutrals and wild greens, all new California-inspired shades and shimmers, mattes, and metallics, vegan formula with a hint of avocado oil. Interesting. And then they released the Wild Lash Mascara for $25. It's coming soon to Ulta and their website. The palette intrigues me. I will probably pick it up, but I will probably wait for either Ulta Points or an Ulta sale. I think the packaging is really pretty and unique to Urban Decay, and the color story is also very pretty. I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about this. Now let's talk about some indie makeup releases, starting with the Star Cross Lovers Eyeshadow Palette by Bella Butte Bar. This palette has 15 shades with six shimmering duochromes. That's crazy. Five buttery soft mattes, two diamond mattes, one shimmer, and one multi-chrome. It's coming soon to the website. I'm interested. I think this color story is really pretty. It's very val Valentine's Day vibes. Very interested. Prickly Pear Cosmetics just launched three new creamy glow highlighters. The shades are Jupiter, Supernova, and Star Jelly. It's vegan, cruelty-free, natural, phosphate-free, sulfate-free, gluten-free. It comes in a compact with a mirror for only $20. You can pick these up at the pricklypearcause.com website. These are really pretty. I like that peachy one. I think that would be a really pretty shimmery blush topper as well as a highlighter. This is beautiful. This is the Sweet Nightmare Eyeshadow Palette from Black Moxie Cosmetics. This is the palette we talked about a couple weeks ago with the black and white image. And I kept saying how pretty some of those colors were. It's gorgeous. It's officially been revealed. The palette consists of nine shades with a mix of four mattes, two duo chromes, one shimmer, two satins. It's $40 for the palette only, or you can get the bundle for $60. That includes the palette and the three single chrome shades that you see there under the palette. It's available as of January 29th on the Black Moxie website. Use the code HOTSPOT for 15% off. I'm buying this. I'm probably not buying the bundle, but I'm buying the palette. Sugar Drizzle Polish has the Be Flawed, Quirky, Unique, Beautiful, Magical Person That You Are, Holy Long Name Eyeshadow Palette. It's available as of January 22nd on the Sugar Drizzle Polish website. The greens are beautiful, the purples are beautiful. It's actually a really pretty palette and I'm definitely interested. Base Blue Cosmetics has released the new Micro Precise Brow Pencil Ultra Slim Self Sharpening Retractable Pencil for precise detailing to give your brows lift, shape, and dimension. It's available in six shades and it's only $13. I love brow products. I love trying new brow products. It looks like one end is the brow pencil, one end is the spoolie. $13, not bad at all. Peachy Queen Cosmetics has released the Be Mine Eyeshadow Palette with Betty Boop on the front of it. How cute is this? This palette consists of 12 shades of mattes and shimmers. It's $32.99 and it's available right now on the peachyqueen.com website. I think this is adorable. If you're a Betty Boop fan, this would be great to add to the nostalgia and your Betty Boop collection. And I think the color story inside is really pretty as well. Baby Bat Beauty, I've never heard of this brand, launched the Dead of Winter palette. 
The outside of this palette is stunning. It has nine exclusive shades, including five matte, two shimmer, and two duochromes. Limited edition for the winter for $38. You can get free shipping above $50 at the babybatbeauty.com website. This is beautiful. It's a nice, cool, toned, wintry vibe. The swatches look really pretty, and I just love the outside packaging. Sydney Grace, one of my favorite indie brands ever, has released their Be Mine eyeshadow palette in two versions. They have a light version and a dark version of the eyeshadow palette. So depending on your skin tone, you can get some of the shades a little bit deeper for you. It has 15 shades with a mix of mattes and shimmers made up of browns, pinks, greens, purples and blacks. It's $52. It's available as of January 26th at 9 a.m. on their website. I love Sydney Grace. Love, love, love them. But I'm going to pass on this palette because it's neutral and I just don't need another neutral palette. But if you are a neutral lover, Sydney Grace's formula is one of the best. It's one of my all-time favorites. Highly recommend this palette if you love it, if you love neutrals. I think the palette is beautiful. It's just not something I'm going to add to my collection. And the last any makeup release that I want to talk about is pretty interesting. This is from the brand 4 Arts Sake Cosmetics. They've launched three new colored mascaras in blue, red, and purple. They're only $15 a piece. They're available now. How fun would this be? Even if you just put it in the outer lashes, that little pop of blue or purple or red, I think this is really fun and $15 a piece is not bad at all. It's nice to see these fun colored mascaras being launched. Holy moly, that was a lot of new makeup releases. I actually skipped a few that we'll catch up on next week, but that is two weeks worth of new makeup releases, which is crazy. I can't believe how much is coming out. It makes sense being the first of the year and about into spring, but that was a lot. I'll make sure everything is linked down below for you if you were interested in picking up any of these for yourself. And if you enjoyed another new makeup releases, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I would love, love, love to have you here. I do upload lots and lots of new videos, so ring the bell so you never miss a single one. Check out the description box for all the new makeup releases, all of the makeup I'm wearing in today's video if you'd like to recreate this look. And don't forget, come on over, follow me on TikTok for more Beauty on a Budget. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.